Dali and welcome to We're All Wednesday, ain't we? And today we have the big game in the FA Cup, fifth round against West Ham United. We can win the cup, could we? Pro probably not, probably not, but it's a huge game for the club. It's money in, it's everything you need. Woo, it's good. The league, let's just start with the league, because this the, the games wise, we normally get Kelly in, Kelly comes in, I'll give you the give you the spiel about how it's been going. And and let's just say it's, it's not been perfect. It's not been it's not it has been uh, problems, not great ones. So oh god, let's let's just get her in. Kelly! winding it's been great since the Tottenham game uh, it was the 3-0 win against Tottenham if you remember it if you haven't go back and watch it like it subscribe and do all the beautiful stuff like you should be doing to this one but you missed the next game should have played it it was a Dale Derby not the main one which is coming up on today's show against crew later it was a different Dale Derby and it was the one against Barrow in which we won 7-2 S-E-V-E-N -S -E that's right, Vinny Printer, man. Seven. Unbelievable. Callum Patterson keeping it going with a hat-trick. Uh, Fujimoto getting his first goal for us. Dunkley, Barry, Longman all scoring. It was going great. We went from that to a 1-1 against Burton. That's right. We're tilt scoring for them. We got back with Castillo. Fine. Bounce back, which is the thing we do this season. It's been brilliant. Bounce back mentality. Dunkley again. Fujimoto again. And last but far from least is George Hurst. Dale, get a haircut. Get a haircut then. I'm not talking about that right now. So, uh, yeah, true, true. I've just come back from the gym and I'm ready to go. Ready and raring. Because we were 3-0 and then the next game was a 1-1 draw against top of the table Warriors. Warriors? Warriors. Uh, both. Made me do both. Uh, they went 1-0 up Sunderland and uh, we panicked. Didn't do well. We got a penalty towards the end of the game, which we scored, but Jake Clocksalter did get sent off. But the way that Jake Clocksalter has been this season, his rating of a 7.41 in the league has been absolutely fantastic. He's one of those players that we can't really afford to miss. We are going to miss him. So that's not great for us. Where are we in the league? I've already told you it's been okay. We're at top of the league. 75 points, which is lovely to see. Sunderland, who we played in the last game. This is why a win would have been so good. We would have been seven points clear. We're only five points clear at the moment. With Cholton, we're sitting in third on 67. We are eight points ahead of them. So that is positive. Goal difference-wise, we're smashing it, boys. Going forward, we are smashing it. So hopefully we can continue that into today's game. We do have West Ham United, as I said, when we left last time, they were fifth in the Premier League. Where are they now? They are sixth in the Premier League. So they are doing very, very well. They've got to be pleased with that performance. Let's have a quick look at their team. Look at their squad here. The senior squad. Lasic, Idrissi, Zakarian, Bowen, Rice. They've managed to keep Rice in the second season, which is good for them. But look, they're very similar to the team that we see in real life now. Hard to base this team as well. They've got loads of greens, loads of goods, but can we do it? We're all Wednesday, ain't we? Remember, like, subscribe, let everybody else know about this. Get them all on board, and we will head into the FA Cup fifth round against West Ham. Breeze making murmurings about wanting a new contract the way he's played. He probably deserves one. So that is something we have to think of. But the reason I brought it up is because it says he holds you in the highest regard as a manager. So, wow, if only... If only anyone did that in real life. Um, this is more like it. Barry's loan agreement is not what they wanted. He's playing out of position. We know this. We knew this when you brought him down to us. He was never going to play in that role. I can't risk it. Dean Smith has come back and said it's okay. What? First of all, the most important thing here is that Dean Smith is still manager of Aston Villa. Let's not even, let's not dive into that right now. As we look at the team selection, will I go with that? You'll find out very, very shortly. But more importantly, capacity crowd of 34, 945 uh, expected for today's show. You've absolutely royally messed that up. If you could get 34,000 people to watch this, you are absolutely having it. Right, right. They'll be in the stands. They'll be, in, they'll be having a great time because we are going to win. Let's get to the game. Here we are for the big game then. Hillsborough against West Ham United in the FA Cup. The team looks like this. And most importantly, the man, the myth, the legend of the last game is back into the team. Anyway, Dawson is in goal. Bree on the right. Duncan Gibson with Palmer on the left. I do believe that all of those players are definite championship players. So that, that's a strong 
defensive line. We've got Ball and Lowry, which was always meant to be the centre mid this season. Longman on the right, Castillo on the left, Fujimoto behind the striker. Who is Patterson? The bench is looking strong. Carvalho coming back, which is exciting. Corbyn there, Hunt, Phillips. It's as good as we can be. I think this is as good as we can be. So we've got to hope and pray that we get through. Their team is as good as it can be as well. Look at that team. Apart from Connor Hazard, but I'm not actually sure who he is, so hands up, I don't know. Kafal, Zuma, Hanko, Kalasinic, I mean, that's strong, isn't it? Rice and Suchek, Bowen, Finals, the Rama, Vlasic, they're taking it fully, they're putting their full team out there, we'll be very lucky to get through, but... Well, we're all Wednesday, aren't we? Kick off, here we go, boys! Fingers crossed for this one. And Hazard uh, is started, and he's booting it to our player, right? No, Suchek. But it is now with us. Bree on the right-hand side. Get excited, boys. This is what it was like against Tottenham. We were excited. I mean, yeah, okay, against Tottenham. If you haven't watched the episode, I think that was one of the best episodes for Football Manager that there has ever been. The, 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 the highs, the lows, it was crazy as Vlasic gets the ball back and Kalasinic plays it down to Ben Rama. They, they are in control of the game. I mean, if they win, I might ask the game to be cancelled because the Sox clash. Bowen, 1-0 down. That's not really good. Not great. Not what I wanted. Uh, but it is Premier League versus League One. Remember, we are still a League One team at this point. So that is what it is. I mean, a full house, they said. Look at these empty seats. Can you see these? Even their bench has got empty seats. I mean, I'll sit there. Good, good goal. Let's it's, it's not. Let's go. Back, Palmer. We're going forward. Fujimoto puts it to Palmer. It's the man, the myth, the legend. Passing over. Look at the stats up here. We've had four shots, two on target with a 22 XG. We're actually, in theory, meant to be doing better than them. But we are 1-0 down and we have just given the ball away in the centre of the park. But brilliant defensive work from Patterson. Do we have the ability to go forward? We're playing it nicely around, but not nicely enough. That is going to let us down deeply. It's killed Lassenach. Plays it back to Hanko and... Well, they just control the game from here, I think. It's going to be really tough. We might have to make some changes, of course we might. But uh, the moment is, do we go positive already and just and just risk it for the biscuit? That's what I'm thinking. We're playing quite balanced at the time. I don't like playing negative or cautious at all. So I normally play positive. I play balanced today. And Berrama is taking it down this left-hand side. What a... What the, the bend on that is outrageous as Bowen has it. Knocks it inside for now's. Back to Bowen, he's absolutely on fire. No stopping Jared Bowen today. That's two. That means we go positive, right? Because that's that's what you do. You don't. It's the FA Cup, so you, you've got to go positive. Why did I go balanced? That's the question. For a goal, though, isn't it? Lovely finish. I mean, I, why the keeper's looking completely the wrong way is, is by the by. Worst bit of all that is I thought I went balanced and I was positive the whole time. So maybe the correct thing was to go balanced, but we went positive and it's not worked out for us. We've got to try and bring the boys back here in the second half. It's going to be tough, isn't it? Kick off for the second half. I told them they can do it. They can't. I mean, we know they can't, uh, but we've told them they can. So double subs been made. I'm bringing on Will Ferry um, just to give Bree a little bit of a break. I'm also bringing on uh, Carvalho, who, who needs game time. So bringing him in there, he is playing it round the team. And hopefully we'll just, if we score now, that'll be an unbelievable decision from the manager. I think it goes down to the manager if we score here, uh, because it'll be coming in from absolutely nowhere. As Cavalier plays it out to Castillo. And he's going to look forward. Lovely ball. Lovely ball. Longman, got to. Come on, boys. Don't give up. Don't give up. Yes, Longman. Right, I'll take that. I'll take that. It's definite great management, uh, because Cavalier played it as a pass and pass it into Longman. Brilliant, brilliant play. Brilliant play. But this is what we, we're playing the Premier League team and they are playing in their full team. And we aren't, we aren't being blown away by them. Brilliant finish from Longman. We can still do this. It's looking less and less likely we can do this. Uh, time is just going so quickly. And uh, we're, we're not really, look, we've not had it, we've not had it. I'm talking because there's no highlights basically. And I think, uh, yep, there we go. There we go, full time. Ooh, we're not going any further in the fifth round, but I'm pretty pleased with that. And a 2-1 loss, we never looked outplayed. We got a 75. We, we should have scored, in theory, more than them. So that's decent possession. We had possession of the ball. Again, good. Just didn't work out for us on the day, but I can't tell the players bad. I think that's just one of those days, isn't it? Told the boys, I'm proud of the effort. Proud of the effort they put in. 
I mean, there was the, the, the upsetting thing is I feel like there's games in there that we, we could have won. I mean, if we, if, for example, Bournemouth beating Arsenal, it's crazy. But I feel like Bournemouth, Fulham, there's still teams we could beat. Villa on the right day, Derby, Sheffield. You. you know, we had, we had, there was teams left in that competition for us to go further. Uh, I think West Ham were just a little bit too good for us. But, you know, we've got crew. Crew in fourth position in our league. So that's the next game. And it's going to be another tough one. And it's only in three days. So there will probably be a lot of players in and out of the team. It don't be it don't be a double defeat episode. That's what we want. And here we are for the crew game. This always this game always has such a swing for me. I always now still look at crew's games because of me and my crew. Again, as I say, every time we play them, go back and watch it. It's just the best series. I loved every moment of it, especially this boy. Now, if you have been a long time admirer of the game, of the channel, do I try and sign Owen Dale next year? I've tried every other time. Do I do it for Wednesday this year? Get down in the comments. Let me know. But our team for today, I told you there would be changes and there are. Dawson is in goal. Bree, because we brought him off in the last game, is fit enough to play. So he is in. Dunkley is in. Clark Salter is in. Uh, Dunkley isn't fully fit, but he is captain. Ryan Galvin, you'll see there. If you are a Wednesday fan, you'll know he played a few times last season. We threw him out on loan uh, in, in real life. Uh, here he is coming back for us to see what he can do. Uh, I mean, I'm not overly positive on it. They, they, everyone else wasn't really fit enough to play. Hunt and Larry in the middle. This is an interesting change as well. I put Fujimoto, who's mainly playing just behind the striker normally. I put him out on the right. Uh, I put Carvalho behind the striker on his first game back and Corbinu uh, on the left. Now, Corbinu uh, has already, it's been said to me by the Wolves manager, he needs to start playing a bit more. I, I, I like him a lot, so I'll put him in. Um, and obviously, Patterson, the way that he's been recently, has to play. When we look at the crew team, we know Adebisi. We obviously know the main the main man is right there. It's Owen Dale. It, of course, it's Owen Dale. And it, it's the one we're all paying attention to in this game. It, what a man, a myth, legend, you know. No, we don't need them to have the ball straight away. We're into the third minute here. And Mandro is into the man. Here he is. He plays it back. Whoa. Good chances. Cottrell, who is a young player who, from Arsenal with them at the moment. And Charlie Webster back to Thomas. Thomas over to Woodthorpe on the left-hand side. Close down well from Bree, but they're finding space. Left, right, and centre as Hamilton plays into the man. Oh, 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 don't do that to me, boy. We've not started this game at all. As Cottrell plays it forward. Bree heads it to Lowry, playing his former club. Let's not forget that. Tom Lowry against his former team. Can he make a big difference in it? That would be nice as Bree has a lot of space. The assists king this season as he goes forwards down the right side. Dinks it in to no one. But the man with the legend is Lowry. I say that. Lowry and Dale, they're both up there for me. As Bree has a go. Ooh. Back in and Galvin has it. And Lowry, who seems to be involved in everything positive for us. I can't believe he's tackled that easily over there, to be honest, by uh, by Daniels. But here we go, Griffiths, who I never liked, has just done a great ball to Mandrel, but he's not going to be able to do nothing with it. Now we need to build up from the bat here as Hunt has it. Big game for Hunt, big season for Hunt. How do we feel he's doing? That's a big question. Is he good enough to keep it in the championship? Again, I'm not sure. It's Clubadu! Oh, well, I think he, I felt he was offside. Is he offside? Yeah. Ah. He just looked way too far forward. And it, I mean, come on. That's awful. That's awful. Great finish, but it's awful. Corner. Lowry. Come on. Just before half time. We just not look good enough. Carvalho's picked up a knock as Lowry has it. Carvalho will probably have to come off at half time. It's Corbinu. Is he upside? No. Yes. Come on, Theo. Theo Corbinu has just scored at the back post with a beautiful header. This boy. Do we try and sign him? He's only on loan still. Yeah, I would like to sign him, I think, maybe, maybe, if we can make money on him as well, even better, but Lowry here, number six, beautiful ball, he's absolutely free, can't miss those, doesn't miss those, 1-0, well, that changes the half-time team talk, doesn't it, that completely changes the half-time team talk, we're 1-0 up, we still need to do a lot better, though, and I think Carvajal, uh, Carvajal, I wish, it was Carvajal managing, uh, no, Carvalho, sorry, will probably have to come off very early into the second half, I might even just do it, here at half time. Sub is being made. Carvalho has come off. We've moved Fujimoto into the middle. Louis Barry's come on on the left and uh, therefore moved Corbinu on to the right. That's how we're going. Waste a bit of time. Get George Hurst on. Hopefully nothing happens. Weird, a weird like, oh, let's see one, let's not see one situation. But we're back and it's us. And it goes to the back post. It's Corbinu. Heads it. Save. Can he get it back? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's just it's the post. Full time, not the most exciting game. I think we can all agree, not the most exciting, but that doesn't matter. 
matter. What matters is getting three points today against Crew. It's one step closer to the championship, which is where we need to be. Good performances once again. As I said at the start of the season, we were aiming on a good defence, and our defence has been good all season. Clark Salter, just an 8.1. Brilliant. Dunkley, 7 6, and he wasn't even fully fit. We've got to be pleased. A clean sheet. Let's take it all on. Keep it moving. When are we coming back? But before we get to when we're coming back, let's see where we are right now. And Sunderland are still five points behind us, but interestingly have played a game more. So that that is good. That is good. That is what we need. They've played a game more. If we can get three points in our next game, our game in hand, then we're in a very nice position. We're nine points ahead of everybody else, which is, again, really, really good. It's ours to throw away, I feel, at this point. But we don't want to throw it away. There's not many games left of the season. I'm going to try and just fly through them, I think, get towards the end right now so we can we can see. So in fact, I might just do that. I might come back. I'm giving you a little cheeky one. I might come back for the last two games of the season. Let's see how we're doing. We'll see how we're doing. So I've gone through the games here, and, and you can see them on the right-hand side of the screen. There's nothing crazy to come back to. Northampton, we've got to play them twice in the EFL Trophy. Then we've got Warsaw, who are 21st. The Wigan game, for me, isn't far enough away, but they are third. They're quite close. Wimbledon, Wickham, Gillingham, Rotherham, all mid-table to, to, to the lows. So we're going to come back to these last two games of the season. Unless, for some reason, we could win it or we could go up beforehand, we're going to come back for these last two. And, as I say, we are in the EFL semi-finals. So if we do get to the final, we'll come back for that as well. It's a little bit up in the air, but hopefully when we come back, we'll be playing to go up. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. We're all Wednesday and we like, subscribe, do all the beautiful stuff. And guys, thank you so much for all the support. Toodle pip.